Don't let people fool you. Your Instagram is actually very important. Whether you're a content creator or not, it's the general public's way of getting a feel of who you are as a person. That type of pressure can be a lot, so I can see why people have anonymous accounts or just don't use Instagram at all. But I like to dive headfirst into it. As much as I would love to meet a mysterious girl online, I can't keep quiet and I like to share. And I see what other people share too, and sometimes I feel like you guys just don't know how to work a tripod. Every picture does not have to be the typical straight on shot. You can do a lot more when you're taking pictures by yourself, and I can teach you. All right, let's talk about the equipment that I use. So starting off, I use a typical tripod that a lot of people use. I like my tripod very, very lightweight so they can easily fit in a bag when I'm on the go. If it's windy, you should probably bring a tripod with higher sturdier legs. But in terms of the top portion of the tripod, here's my horseshoe. It's really important because this is what you need to get all of the angles. Then of course you need your phone mount. A lot of people use Lens Buddy, but I personally like the clicker better because I like to be in control of when the picture is taken. All right, let's start with the behind the scenes of photo one. Photo one is actually inspired by an old picture that I took, this one in particular. A friend of mine took this picture and I think that I can recreate it all by myself. So I know that I'm gonna need some sort of high platform, which is the reason why I chose this location with stairs. Now I'm just setting up my tripod as so. This part usually takes the longest for me because you want the angle to be perfect. For this particular shot, I knew that I needed my tripod to be as high as it can go and I also needed to move my horseshoe around and make sure that the camera was pointing downwards. This is going to be an aerial shot so heavy focus on the ground and to ensure there's not too much space I always optimize the zoom in feature on the phone and then this is kind of what the full setup looks like. It kind of looks intimidating because your phone can definitely fall off if it's too windy so you got to make it quick. And then as soon as I position myself, a really key thing that I do whenever I position myself is that I find something on the floor. For example, that little like thing, circle of thing next to me, I always say, okay, that's where the center is, so that's where I'm going to stand. Finding your mark when you're taking your pictures by yourself is essential because there's no one to tell you if you're off center or not. And then afterwards, I take some photos, I review them, and I do it again and again and again until I find a couple that I like. And this shot was pretty good good because I definitely found some I like. Okay guys, so I just took the first set of photos and I'm looking through them right now and I actually really like them. The thing about me when I'm taking pictures is that I always like the pictures where my face isn't in it. Like those are the ones that I like the best. So I'm going to show you which one that I like a lot. This is the one that I like the best. Of course it's the one where my face is hidden. But I think it just shows off my outfit so cute in such a different way. And I can't believe I do this all by myself. Like hello. Like someone should hire me for their services. No, for my services. I'll put all the pictures I like above or somewhere. For the next photo, I'm really excited because I'm going to do like a paparazzi-esque type of thing, but it's really, really hard to do those types of videos because your camera has to be very far away from you and that can be a little bit tricky because people in Philly love to steal, so I don't want someone to steal my phone as I'm taking my photo. So finding a place is going to be pretty hard, but I'm determined, so it doesn't really matter. I'm back again for day two of the giveaways. As for yesterday's giveaway of the Aritzia Super Puff, the winner is this user right here, so congratulations. As for today's giveaway, I'm giving away a $50 Amazon gift card, so if you still need to do some holiday shopping, you can definitely do it with this one. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, answer the question below that I have in the pinned comment. Comment as many times you want, the more you comment, the more likely you are to win. And also put your Instagram in the caption so I know how to contact you if you win. The giveaway is international, so I'm gonna ship to you wherever you are. And the winner is gonna be announced in tomorrow's video along with the announcement of the second giveaway. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
For the paparazzi-esque photos, I knew that I wanted to be around a street crosswalk type place, so I started setting up my tripod and I went to work. When I test out locations, I don't just test out angles, I test out lighting, and sometimes the lighting does not look good. Okay guys, so things don't always work out super smoothly. I was about to take pictures at that corner, but the lighting wasn't really giving. How do I know the lighting wasn't giving? Because I was super dark, the corner was super blue on camera, and I would much rather be like warm toned than cool toned. And so I'm just walking up the block to see if maybe that corner will do me justice and it's actually so like funny walking around the city because i've literally taken pictures like everywhere i've taken pictures in this exact corner before so whenever i move around it's basically just like my memories like i've literally taken a picture everywhere <laughs> that's key i need to move i'm kidding i'm not moving all right so i finally found another location that was much better the lighting was nice and bright but not too bright and it was warm toned and it was exactly what i liked so i set up my tripod across the street and i hoped and prayed to god that no one would steal it in order to get the shot that i wanted i basically just walked up and down the sidewalk like a million times getting this shot was much harder because i definitely want to get myself in the perfect position but it was very cold outside so it was hard for me to focus i definitely tried my best but you know shit happens <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished taking those like paparazzi inspired photos and they turned out pretty good considering everything that I was going through when I was taking that picture. Jesus Christ, guys, it is so cold outside. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to take pictures of it. It's 44 in Philly and oh, oh, and it's windy too. So it probably feels even worse. Let me see, 44 and it feels like 40. And I was out there taking pictures like my outfit's cute and it's like super like wintry but it's like instagram winter it's like miami california winter where they call like 60 degrees cold it's 44 here feels like 40 i was definitely freezing my ass off but the goal is you don't want to show that you're freezing and i feel like in my photos i did a pretty good job of not like totally expressing that i was freezing my ass off i think they turned out really cute good thing i took this picture on live because it can literally show how cold it was outside like look at this Ooh, you saw that wind? Yeah. That's what I do for y'all. But the pictures came out really cute. I'm excited for the last one because the last one is kind of just like a different pose idea. Like, you're gonna love it. I think it's really cute. And hopefully I can execute it. Mm. So for the last photo, I found a little garage and I wanted to do a picture of me kind of squatting down. So I definitely positioned my tripod the lowest that it can go. I hugged my knees and crouched down and I got the shot that I really wanted. I always really appreciate shots like this because they're a little bit different, out of the box, and I always appreciate weird, unique things. Hi guys, so I'm finally back in my apartment, back in the warmth, and I was looking through all the photos, and I think they came out really good. And I don't know, like, although taking pictures is difficult by yourself because you just come across a lot of random people, and it can be intense sometimes because you don't know if you're getting the shot or not, or it may just be because it's really cold outside. I hope this video helps you in taking pictures a different way. Taking pictures in a way that makes it look like someone else taking your picture. That was basically the goal of today. And I think we achieved that with all of the photos that we took. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and follow me on the gram. I would say that out of all the pictures we took, my favorite was probably the first one, just because I just felt like it was so cool. It was very quick. I loved the angle. It was so different. And I definitely had a lot of fun taking that. So yeah, I really hope this video inspires you to take your own photos. Like, trust me, you don't need someone all of the time. You're are fully capable of taking amazing photos on your own. Until next time, folks.